السلام عليكم ورحمة الله. This is Hani Ismail from Planning Engineer website. I received very interesting question on WhatsApp from one of my friends. He is asking Hani, I have a problem in my cash flow. I have some months with too high cash flow and other months very less cash flow. How to fix this one? And uh, I made this video to answer this question. How to uh, level your cash flow and this also is applicable for uh, resources so first thing i have here one example project where we have here let's say in these three months is very high cash flow okay and we would like to fix this one what is the best way there is a resource leveling in Promovera, but I don't recommend to use it. I'm, uh, I'm recommending to use the manual method I'm going to explain to you right now. So the first thing is to show your activity, start and finish date and budget cost. And from here, you need to show from the resources, you need to show here from uh, resource usage profile, you need to find which resource you are trying to make leveling for it. In my case, I have here this cost, which uh, the material resource representing my costs. Okay, what to do now? I have here three months with very high cash flow. So the first thing, I'm going to remove my WBS. Okay, and I'll click apply. So I have here all my activities with the budgeted cost. Now I'm going to sort the activities from the heavy one to the uh, light one. So here it means in the top, I'll find the most heavy activity I have. Okay, now I have a problem with, in which month I'm having a problem, let's say in month of January. So here I'm going to see what is the activity in the month of January. And here I have also the total float. So it means this activity can be delayed a little bit, okay, without affecting the project. So what I'm going to do now, I know this activity is very heavy already. I need to, I need to push it, okay, I need to push it from January to February or I make it earlier. And in that case, if I make January put some weight on December, it will solve my problem. No, it will give me more weight in December. But if I moved it to February, it will give me uh, less weight in December and less weight in January as well. Okay, so I'm going to show here my relationships and I'm going to move it. How many days I'm going to move it? Let's start with 15 days. Now it is moved, but it's still in January. Let's put 25 days, for example. Now let's see the impact of this one. As you can see here, now the December is okay. January became more, uh, less also, and now February is too much. Okay, so this one I fix it. What else you can fix between January and February? I'm going down until I find here this LV switch gear. I can move it. I have some floats, so I can also move this one. Let's move it by 25 days. Okay, then go and check what is going on here. Okay, it is, it is fine in January. Now February became too much, no worries, because here I have in uh, other activities I can move. The, the, the best way is to play with the most heavy activity. I can go and do more moving in January and February, but I prefer to play with one activity which will fix everything. Especially I have here some uh, good floats. So I'm going to move this one more. Let's make, give it more. One, 10 days more. Maybe I need to be between February and March. And I'd see now I have here November, December, January is going doing great. Now I have the problem in February. Okay. In that case, I can do one more trick to increase the duration of this one. Okay. As you increase the duration, 
the weight will be uh, in two months instead of one month okay this is the second way of doing things okay now let's say I'm done with this one I cannot play with it more uh, the curtain walls what I'm going to do I need to find in February what else I can move I can move this one okay I'll give it also a little bit bush okay now I think we need to play some uh, with marsh so here marsh okay we have here we can go down okay for example here I cannot play I cannot do anything because it is already critical I have zero total float okay in that case I need to reduce February and March February and March these two activities it looks like they are linked together if I push them little bit let push them by one month now it is March let's make it 45 days and this one also I'll make it 45 days and let's see our graph how it looks like now we have uh, any uniform cash flow better than the uh, shape we had before okay what else Hani, you can do we can go down now and see what we have in February and March we are talking in these two months to see if we can do more here also I have I can move it it is now not very big weight okay but at least you can move it little bit let's say 30 days okay now let's see how it looks like and you can move on and increase the duration move the activities until you find or you have the uh, proper uh, leveling you are looking for now this is how we can do it in a cost doing uh, uh, some uh, leveling in the uh, cost uh, um, cash flow and uh, also this the same uh, method is applicable for the resources uh, i hope you will find this lesson useful to you See you in the next one.